Hello everyone, once again I am here with new history chapter. Today we will discuss about something regarding revolutions. Before that you should subscribe my channel Horario and if it's being useful for you please like the video also. So let's move for the next revolution as we have already discussed that other two revolutions were American revolutions and French revolutions. You have seen how the things were made and how the people were raising their words, raising their needs there. Similarly, in this case also, in Latin American revolution also, first before entering into the chapter, may can you give me some names of Latin American countries? Yes, it's like Argentina, one of the famous in footballs and Bolivia and other uh, Latin American nations are also there like Mexico's are also being included in Latin American nations but one thing when you compare why Latin American nations are far behind than USA or North America it's a totally economic concept you just go through it because of economic concept before that you have to understand there was some historical background also behind it which made it to lag far behind so those things we will study today. So while entering into Latin American revolution, you should remember the year or the century 18 and century 19. These two centuries were famous in the case of Latin America. In the textbook as is prescribed very short, but here we will study about what were the major leaders there and what was the problem faced by the people of Latin America. Whether they were having the furious life like what we have discussed, the nature of freedom, whether they were having such a freedom or not. If they were having the freedom, what was the case of freedom or what was the restrictions given, who was ruling them, what was the condition, all these things. So before entering America or Latin America, we should know the colonial period was the empowerment of Europeans all over the world. So similarly, here also some of the European countries were ruling them. So which all two European countries? Spain and Portuguese were the two major European countries who have invaded the Latin American countries like Bolivia, Argentina and some of the other also. But one thing, Venezuela and uh, others like Peru, all these were the major Latin American countries and these were being ruled by Spain and Portuguese. But moreover, the effect is this, the Spain was having the superior power over all these countries than Portuguese. Because Spain was a little bit ahead than Portuguese. Portuguese invaded and found the land, you may know West Indies and all. But still, the thing is that Portuguese were made back because of their military power and other economic advantages upon them. So that's why Spain's major cultures were induced into the Latin American people. So there the pr problem was, if you think tomorrow onwards I'm coming to your house and started ruling over you, taking the control of your foot, clothes, even the house arrangements. If I'm going to change all these things, think how the feeling or what whatever consequences you have to face. Similar consequences were also faced by the American or the Latin American people during the period of 18th and 17th, sorry, 18th and 19th century. So these periods were not so healthy for them due to the invasion of Spanish people there. So whatever changes they brought were, some rules were mentioned there. They should not transport any raw material to any other country other than Spain. That was the one of the thing you can understand from the civilization concept. If you have read the civilization concept of Machu Picchu, it is in Peru, the famous civilization uh, according to which Latin American historical background has been shown there, all those concepts. But one thing you have to understand, all these were totally changed by the arrival of Spain. The Spanish people made it to, in their own style, they built their churches their educational institutions, their culture also even and moreover as India have adopted some of the diseases from other country, Latin America also have to face severe condition, severe threats of diseases from the Spanish people. So this happened there during the period when Spain was ruling the Latin America and what was the crux 
you may have seen in the starting of our Latin America that Pablo Neruda, the famous poet, have mentioned the glory of Latin America. How glorified was Latin America before the arrival of these Europeans over them and exploiting all the natural resources, taking the power over the farmers, all these contents. Before that, he have mentioned the glory, how the ripens, weeds were looking like, the glories of red shine, sunshine. It's being mentioned that is, it's very healthy and natural resource occurring one of the nation or one of the place where such kind of variety things were grown and even natural resources like minerals and ores were formed. But these all were now the under of Spain. So this was a problem, one of the problem which you have to understand regarding the Latin American condition in revolution. So here the twist comes after a long period of 30 to 40 years under the Spanish rule, they have started agitating or starting asking the freedom for their self and expressing themselves. So the, here two of the major leaders you have to remember, one is Simon Bolivar. Simon Bolivar was also known as one of the liberator, liberator of Latin America. He liberated or he made them to get rid of Spain like Venezuela. He was born in Venezuela and he made them free from the Spain. That is Venezuela, Peru, Ecuador were the major countries through which he have being a leadership quality and he have leaded and ruled made them to withdraw their rule from these all places by the help of his leadership. And from where he got the motivation? Yes, you are very correct. You have already studied the France. So we have already noted how France were ready to support American countries in the previous chapter. Likewise, this France also have the effect or their thoughts also have grown and germinated inside these people. And this motivation made them to ripple back to Spain and give them a correct order or correct type of what you can say, reply to give their freedom back and leave their soil. So here the person have played a one of the major role to separate or to give the independence to these all countries. And the other leaders like Jose de San Martin and Francisco Miranda were the major other leaders who led the fight for independence for Latin American countries. And here you may have noted the persons uh, Jose de San Martin. He was also known as the protector because he was the one person he known for one of his revolution where that is related to hilly area that is Mount Andes. There he have or what you can say invaded and made the Spain or Spanish soldier to get back. Then he had made the, that leadership to come upon that only one victory. But that victory was so announced that his or what you can say followers were making them to follow his rules or criteria to get over the Spain or Spanish people and not only one uh, country moreover he have also liberated so uh, three or four countries in the Latin America and made the people to get back their land soil and their culture same time Francisco Miranda was also played a major role but as per when we consider the other two personality he was the initial person to start this but he was not a long lasting, what you can say, a premature end to a promising start. So that was a play, but initially that play was made the other person to get into this and make it successful. So this was a, a brief story about Latin American history about revolution. So one or more things you have to understand was the major people who ruled them were Spanish. So they built Spanish churches, Spanish education, Spanish culture and moreover they have demolished many of the churches also of Latin Americans and made into a Spanish style or their culture was being in, included into that so they should follow that one. So likewise same time they have made some laws also likewise the mines were only the under of the Spanish people they should not export or anything other than natural resources to Spain only. No other country was allowed to export or trade with them. And another more thing was 
finished goods markets from Spain were sold into Latin America. As the we have studied in the other two revolutions also, the same conditions where the colonialized countries were the market for the finished goods which were brought from Europeans. So these things you have to understand and make it into crisp form. It's being two leaders, Simon Bolivar and Jose de San Martin were the major leaders in these cases and Francisco Miranda also. So one of the famous, but it's not so relevant to our topic. But you should remember these names and you should re remember the major names being given. One is liberator, another one is protector. So these two things you have to understand regarding Latin America. So soon uh, we will cover up the next revolution also that is the Russian revolution. How Russia have made the revolution, what was the problem they were facing, whether it was similar to this or who made them to come up with such a content. So until we meet next time, stay, take care and bye.